operate a fire extinguisher, remember pass. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the handle, and sweep toward the base of the fire. In an emergency, to shut off the gas valves, locate your valve. You're gonna pull this pin for access, turn the lever away. When using alcohol-based preps, we wanna remember a couple of things to avoid the risk of fires. First of all, we remember to always wait three minutes after the prep is applied to the patient. This way, when drapes are applied on top, we don't collect the fumes that could ignite. Second, we also wanna avoid cooling the solution on the patient because for the same reason, the solution is flammable and could ignite, causing injuries. Here we have a situation where we have discovered a fire. We have Dr. Allegra treating his patient and he discovers a fire in the clinic. First, rescue and remove patients, guests, or staff in the area from the immediate danger. Then, alert the appropriate authorities by calling 911. If known, report the exact location of the fire. We then contain and confine the fire if possible, close all doors and windows. Then we extinguish the fire if possible, if not, evacuate the area immediately. Oh, there's a fire in the OR, guys. Oh no. Airway stable. The, the fire is spreading to the airway. Nurse Julie, turn off the gases. Gas is off, I'll call the front desk. Front desk, there's a fire in the OR. Call 911. I'll start documenting. Make sure you get all the fire out. Are there any more injuries? Assess Is there any more fire? Assess for fires. There's fire going off the curtains. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, this fire is out of control. We need to evacuate the OR. Patient's airway is stable. Let's evacuate. Evacuate. When we are unable to extinguish the fire, we have to remember to always alert our PCC to call the fire department. We have a fire in the OR, a patient's on fire. Yeah. During a fire emergency, it's important to remember not to use the elevators. This reason is threefold. First of all, the elevators may fail during a fire, trapping the occupants. Second, the shafts can fill with smoke, causing injuries. And third, we need these elevators reserved for the firefighters who arrive during the fire response. During an evacuation, you calmly walk to the designated meeting point. It's in the corner of the parking lot, away from our building. 